Russian politician Liz Payette has died. She died last night at her home, surrounded by friends and family, and today she's being remembered as a trailblazer for women in the workforce. Amanda Klein has a look back at her life. Lise Payette is being remembered not only for her influence on Quebec society, but paving the way for millions of women who came after her. She began her broadcasting career in Montreal in the 1960s, <laughs> hosting a distinctly feminist radio show called Place aux Femmes and the evening talk show Appelez-moi Lise. In the 1970s, she joined the PQ and was elected in 1976 alongside René Lévesque. Throughout her political career, Payette was the Minister for the Status of Women, Consumer Affairs and Social Development. She amended the Civil Code, giving women the choice on whether to change their last name after getting married. She implemented Quebec's first no-fault car insurance and replaced La Belle Province with Je me souviens on license plates. She was a maverick of sorts. Uh, she was a fully liberated women when these were few and far between. On the campaign trail, PQ leader Jean-Francois Lisée paid tribute to Payette. It was a shining example that women could excel, take their place, uh, and then be in government, uh, do great things for consumers. She was the best minister for consumers in the history of Quebec. Payette's political career didn't come without challenges including what became known as the Yvette incident during the 1980 referendum, when she compared then-Liberal leader Claude Ryan's wife to a submissive girl, prompting a major backlash from women on the Federalist side. She left politics a year later. When she saw the result of the referendum, she was there to make Quebec a country, and uh, I think she said, well, uh, I did what I had to do. It will take too long for me. But for many, her most lasting influence is the trail she blazed for Quebec women. She was also a leader of the fem feminist movement, and she's also the one that introduced public and uh, auto insurance in Quebec. I think she was very successful to make sure that women uh, were able to take their place on TV and in, the, in our societies. Duceppe says regardless of whether you agree with her politics, today's leader should take a page from her book. Don't be afraid of proposing great changes instead of just trying to gain votes. Her legacy, says Duceppe, inspiring others to stand by their convictions. Amanda Klein, CTV News.